So we're back to cases of three brothers and two sisters. And the Mish it's as if the Mishnah wants to make things more and more complicated. Perhaps it, it's just teaching case after case in order to make sure that we really understand what the principles are. So we're, in, we're going to start in the sixth Mishnah, the third chapter. So we got three brothers and two of them are married to two sisters. And the third is married to an unrelated, an unrelated woman. And in this diagram, um, let's use a diagram. I mean, there are two, the Mishnah is going to bring two almost identical cases. So there are two diagrams on the source sheet. And in both of them, I'm using Alice and Betsy as sisters and Charlotte as the one who's unrelated to Betsy and Alice. So we've got these two sisters, Alice and Betsy, and we've got Charlotte, who's elsewhere. And there are three brothers, Alex, Bob and Charlie. And we're going to see when we look at the Mishnah that Bob dies first. So when Bob dies, his brother Charlie is going to do is going to perform a yibum for Bob's wife, who was Betsy. That, that much we, we pretty much know. But a complicating factor is that Charlie, after he performs the boom, after he takes on Betsy, he is going to die too. So Alex is left as the only surviving brother. Alex is the only surviving brother who might perhaps be able to perform the boom. For, for the surviving wives, for Betsy and Charlotte. And the Mishnah is going to come along and tell us, look, Alex, Alex can't perform Yibum for Betsy because Betsy is his wife's sister. And we know we can't be married to two sisters. So he's going to be Alice. So Alex is going to be completely exempt from Yibum from Betsy. And we learned in the first Mishnah of the tractate that a wife's rival, i.e. Uh, someone, a, a wife's rival is defined there as someone who's married to the same husband. A wife's rival is exempted automatically when a wife is exempted. And of course, in the new world, in the new world in which Bob has died first and Charlie has performed Yibum, Charlie's married both to Charlotte and Betsy. So if Betsy is exempt from you, boom, Charlotte will be exempt too as her rival. Let's go back. to That's the picture. Let's go back to the Mishnah. So we got three brothers. Three brothers, two are married to two sisters, and the third was married to someone completely unrelated. Mate, one of the sisters' husbands died. That's... Bob, in our picture, Bob's died. One of the sisters' husbands died. The brother who's married to this unrelated woman married his wife and then died too. So in this example, Charlie's taken on the extra wife, but he's died. So now there are two widows. There are two widows and only one surviving brother, Alex. So the Mishnah explains, Harishona Yotza Mishum Achotisha, the first Harishona, the first woman, the first woman, that means the first wife. That means Betsy. The first wife is exempt. She's exempt from Yibum and from Chalitza. She doesn't have to do anything. She doesn't need chalitza. She can't have yibum, and she doesn't need chalitza. The first is exempt because she's his wife's sister. That's Alex's wife's sister. And the second is exempt as her rival. Let's go back to the, the diagram and have another look. Betsy is exempt from yibum with Alex because Betsy is Alex's wife's sister. And Charlotte is exempt because she was Betsy's rival. So they're both exempt. There's no Yibum here and no Chalitza. Now, what if instead of, what if Charlie, instead of performing Yibum, 
with Betsy had actually just before Ma'amar. Remember we said Ma'amar is a bit like a betrothal. It's an agreement to perform Yibum via a written contract or the exchange of some money. But it's not Yibum in the, in the total sense. Yibum is only really, is only there when the marriage is consummated. Ma'amar is just a promise to carry out Yibum later. It's like the Kiddushin before the Nisuin. It's like a betrothal before a marriage. So if he just performed Ma'amar, the Mishnah goes on to say, The unrelated woman would perform Chalitza, but not Yibum. If, if Charlie had just performed if Charlie had just performed a ma'amar with Betsy and then had died, then clearly Betsy is still forbidden to Alex completely. But Charlotte, Charlotte is in an interesting position. She's not. Charlotte is not really a, she's not really a rival because Betsy and Charlotte were never really related well, they were rabbinically, they were kind of rabbinic rivals, but not rivals de writer. I guess that's the best way of putting it. So Charlotte, Charlotte is close enough to Betsy to not be allowed to perform, to have Yibum, but she's not exempt. So she, the, the halacha, it's, you know, in a case of doubt, we always say we perform chalitza. So nochrit, that's Charlotte, choletzet velo mitya bemet. Charlotte performs Chalitza, but not Yibo. That's the first example which the Mishnah wants to bring to us. And then the Mishnah wants to bring the reverse of this example. So in our first example, Bob dies first. Now the Mishnah is going to bring exactly the same scenario, exactly the same scenario. But in this case, Charlie does. Charlie dies first. So Charlotte, the unrelated woman, she will pass on to Bob via Yibum, and then Bob dies. So it's the reverse. It's the reverse. And Alex is still left with these two widows. The difference is that so Alex is left with these two widows. So it's an identical situation. He's left with two widows via a different scenario, but he can't perform Yibum with Betsy because he's his, she is his wife's sister, nor with Charlotte because Charlotte's now Betsy's rival via the other way around. Let's go back to the Mishnah. Mishnah just plays this out very steadily. So we got three brothers. It's almost poetic, this Mishnah, because it's a, it's, it's, um, it's a straight, it's a, it's a straight, it's a straight repetition. Three brothers. Three brothers, two of whom were married to two sisters, and a third was married to an unrelated woman. And when you see this Mishnah, right, that the wording is identical, it's as if the, the Mishnah has done a repeat on itself. It's like someone's done a copy paste, but with a few little things changes. A few little things changes. The one married to the unrelated woman died. And so one of the sister's husbands married his wife, that's married Charlotte, and then died too. And the Mishnah concludes in exactly the same way. The one, the first, that is the first woman is, is exempt because she's his wife's sister. She's Alex's sister. We can't perform Yibum on our, on our sister, on, on, our, uh, on, on our wife's sister. The first is exempt because she's the sister of his wife. Because and the second, because she's her rival. At, for a certain point, they were married to the same person. Asava Bamarva mate. And if he'd only performed Mamar with her and then died, the unrelated woman would perform Khalitsa, but not Yibum, because the um the relationship of rivalry is not, it's not quite, it's not quite established by it's not sufficiently established via Ma'amar to completely exempt her from Chalitza, but nevertheless, it's sufficient to stop her from performing Yibum.